hello uh, quick tutorial here i found myself playing with that uh gorse field looper the other night and um had a little bit of a riff going off with it but uh you know it was four steps long you could only have four notes and i'm like oh, i wish i could have a 16 step gorse field looper because that'd be really cool wouldn't it so um what I've done is I've duplicated four instances of it and what I've done is I've automated the mutes if you watch. So every quarter of a bar one plays and I've done that using a step sequencer. Any step sequencer will do it. So you see, I've got it triggering a note each time for a quarter of a bar. And in AUM, to automate your mutes, you see at the bottom of a channel, it says channel, channel two, you press that. It brings up that box, the top left of that box, you press that. It brings up your MIDI controls. So if you press mute, you get to pick what note operates mute and what MIDI channel. So um, the way I've had it is I've got it on invert. All right, so if we look back to what it's doing. you can see when a note's playing, it'll invert the mute. So when the sequence is stopped, you you want to set them all to, you know, all your Gauss channels to mute. And then when you press play, this thing, this step sequence of playing notes will cycle the mutes. Yeah, but that's that. It's pretty simple, but it's uh, just an extra degree of bonkers. I've got a, a delay for what it did is I assigned each field looper, you know, to a mix bus. You do that there, you pick your mix bus, mix bus, same with it. Yeah, easy peasy. because you can never have too many of them, can you? Actually, I 
Racer. So it beats first. I'm muting that sequence now and that's uh, playing on this new gorse looper. Well, that's enough of that anyway, cheers. Yeah. 